Hello, I'm Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg. 46 years ago today, Lake Superior saw one of its worst storms in history. As the song goes, the gales of November came early, bringing winds over 90 miles an hour and waves over 35 feet high. The Edmund Fitzgerald and its 29 crew were lost, including Great Lakes Maritime Cadet David Weiss and former cadet Thomas Benson. It's important to recall this history, not just to honor the memories of those 29 people, but because it's a reminder of the dangers that our merchant mariners face every day and of the vital role that the U.S. Merchant Marine plays in our economic and national security. Whether they're moving troops and equipment during wartime, or goods and materials during peacetime, our mariners have been central to our way of life since this country's founding. And the Great Lakes Maritime Academy in lovely Traverse City has established itself as a center of excellence for training those mariners. The administration and this department are committed to supporting our merchant mariners by building and strengthening the infrastructure and equipment that they need to do their jobs. I know, for instance, that just last week, the Mark W. Barker, the first new lake freighter built in nearly 40 years, was launched in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. That's exciting news for the Great Lakes shipping industry and for the shipbuilders, industries, and communities of the region. These kinds of historic investments in the maritime industry, supported by the Jones Act, will help lay the groundwork for a new generation of economic prosperity. Thanks to those investments, along with the world-class training provided at academies like this one, I am confident in the future of our merchant marine. But that future depends on all of us, government, military, private, and academic sectors, doing our part to ensure that the next generation of mariners is treated with respect and dignity from their first day at the academies through their entire careers. Many of you have no doubt seen recent disturbing reports of sexual assault in the maritime industry. And you may have heard about recent actions taken to protect the students at Kings Point. It's vital, but not enough, to say that we have zero tolerance for harassment and assault. That commitment has to be matched by concrete, deliberate action. It means tearing down any and all barriers that prevent survivors from, from reporting incidents. And it means holding perpetrators and enablers accountable. Most of all, it means preventing assault and harassment from happening in the first place, changing policies and culture. These are issues that extend far beyond the academy or any one institution. They affect the entire maritime industry, and we all bear responsibility for confronting them. So today, as we remember the history of the Edmund Fitzgerald and tomorrow, as we honor the service of our veterans, let's take this opportunity to redouble our commitment to ensuring the safety, the security, and the dignity of our merchant mariners and of all those who serve afloat and ashore. From supply chain and economic challenges, to the climate imperative, to safety and security, the role of the merchant marine and the maritime sector at large has never been more important. The challenges and the opportunities in front of us are enormous, and I look forward to your continued leadership in meeting them for a new generation. Thank you.